So here I have like a kilo of chicken drumettes. I already have them, bought them from the store. So you can see they are just like those drumette portions of the wing. So I'm going to try and make a version of chicken lollipops in the air fryer. Let's see how it turns out. It's going to be different from the uh, chicken lollipop bites that I already shared on our channel. So stick around. So these are how the drumettes look. I just wanted to show you a closer view. So for the lollipops, usually we butterfly them. Like we just push this meat down, right? But I'm not going to do it for the drumettes. They are fine. I don't want to waste my time. They are pretty good. So I'm just going to make it as is. So yeah, you can see uh, I have like one and maybe a quarter pop, uh, pod of uh, garlic. So I'm going to clean them and put them in the food processor. Here I have about eight green chilies. Uh, you can go less if you want. This is about eight or ten green chilies. So I put them also in the food processor. I'm going to blitz them along with some ginger. Uh, maybe like a one and a half inch piece of ginger. So this is the amount of ginger that I've chopped roughly. That's going to go inside. Uh, this master chef small food processor that I have. Let me see if I have a box. So yeah, this is the 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 top uh, part. This is the box. So it comes with three attachments. That um the beater, uh the small jar, and what is that? I think it's a little bigger jar. I can't see towards the end. Yeah, but it's really uh handy. So I got it for like twenty dollars, I think, or twenty five dollars on. Uh, in Canadian Superstore. Oh, no, no. In Canadian Tire. Sorry. Yeah. So it's ready for it to be closely ground. I have green chilies, ginger, and garlic. So I'm going to blitz it. So here is the uh, closely ground ginger, garlic, and green chilies ready. And I'm going to make some insertions in the drumettes. So like I'm just going to make two insertions on each of them so that the uh, spices can go in nicely. So I'm squeezing half a lime. In goes the salt. I have some nice uh, pink Himalayan salt that I got in the store. So that goes in. And then I put some chili powder, red chili powder. So I'm going to put like uh, what, maybe two teaspoons of red chili powder. This is not going to give color because this is red chili powder. It's not kashmiri chili powder so if you want some red color add like some uh maybe like one teaspoon one teaspoon heaped of red chili powder and one teaspoon heaped of kashmiri red uh, kashmiri chili powder so that should give you a good color next i'm gonna add one teaspoon of uh this chings shazwan chutney so this and then one teaspoon of shriracha so next goes the shazwan chutney Maybe like we put two teaspoons. Yeah, not one. So that's good. And next we're gonna put one teaspoon of the sweet archer. So I'm gonna finally chop like a few um, strands of um, cilantro and I'm gonna add one egg into the chicken. So I'm going to add the, the cilantro. We call it kothmir in Hindi. And then the egg. So in goes the egg. And then I'm gonna add some corn flour and a little rice flour. So maybe like about three tablespoons of each. So I'm gonna put, I don't have, I have like this teaspoon, so I'm gonna put like three spoons of this corn flour. And then I'm gonna put three spoons of rice flour so the rice flour now one two three so um gonna mix it up and then we'll start um air frying so this is how uh it looks after i oh and by the way i added um four more spoons so i added two corn flour to rice because it has to come to this texture where the flour is kind of like coating the chicken. So 
yeah and i also added a two teaspoons of water so that it you know it, it it's like this let me show you so it's like this now i'm gonna add some coca-cola so any soda will do like maybe two caps or three caps let's do i think three caps I don't know what this does, but this is my mom's secret in making these uh, lollipops. So we added three cup, three caps, and then I'm gonna mix it again, and let's uh, preheat the air fryer. So I'm gonna uh, preheat the air fryer at 400 for about four minutes, and I'm oh, I also did a batch, but I'm still gonna show you. You have to just oil the basket before you put like some chicken pieces in, okay? So while um, this is preheating, I wanted to quickly give you a, a nice rundown, a good review. I love this Secura air fryer that we got. It's been like almost three years. We bake, oh sorry, we uh, air fry, french fries, chicken. Uh, we've used it to do some cupcakes. Never made any bread, but this is really good. It's super easy, it's really healthy. So I'm also gonna try making some flaxseed chips uh in a bit but yeah if you're thinking of getting an air fryer buy this it's from amazon it's the link is in my description box so give it a try it's a nice good big size so if you're a family of four or five this should be good okay so it's time to put the chicken in i'm gonna move the basket out and then i'm going to put the chicken in I love the size of a basket because I don't have to do too many batches. Okay, so this is it. I'm going to spray some oil. Uh, reduce the temperature to 360 degrees and cook it for 10 minutes and then we'll check it and then cook it for another 10 minutes. So 10 minutes are up. Let's check it out. Ooh, alrighty. Let's try and turn them over. So we turned everything and then we are putting them back in. Another 10 minutes. So maybe I think 8 minutes because they almost seem to be done. So let, let's put it for like 8 minutes. Okay, so it's done. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Alrighty. Let's put a couple of these pieces in the plate. it out and I have some Chazon chutney as well ready let's see how this one looks Ooh. crispy and delicious we've tried it so often I'm gonna try um, putting it like just like dig into it with a spoon and show you so let's check it out Enjoy.